Hi, in this video we're going to be talking about PDF compression tools to uh, reduce the size of your PDF file. So we're going to talk about some software you could download and install and then also some websites where you could do it online. So the uh, software that you install is going to cost you more money, but at least you're going to have it on your computer. And one thing I'm worried about with doing this online is you're uploading your documents to who knows where. And, you know, supposedly they're not keeping them, but if it's confidential stuff, you might want to think twice about doing so. So I put together this list here, some installed software and some PDF sites that uh, we tried out here and the cost. And we had a 54 and a half megabyte uh, image file, which is just a PDF image. And then we had a six megabyte file with text and images that was like 150 pages. And so we have the results here and some comments. So we'll just kind of go over these here and then quickly show you each one. So this might be a little lengthy video. And then we'll go over the uh, websites as well, just to give you an idea of how they work. All right, so the first one, Wondershare PDF element. Here's the cost. Here's what it did for the uh, file size reduction. I've got some comments. Um, all of these, uh, we did the maximum setting, if possible, just to get the best file size. And of course, your image quality is going to suffer on probably all of these, but some are worse than others, like Wondershare, for example. Um, low quality for the max setting, and also took over as a default PDF reader without asking. So Wondershare, just going to open it real quick and just kind of show you the interface. So you just click on Compress PDF, load your files, and then uh, go through the process. Let me just do one here. And then you just pick your settings and apply it and so on, then you get your results. rate it. And next we have Nitro PDF Pro, uh, $180 for a one-time purchase. I don't like these subscription ones like this one. There's your $80 a year. You should just be able to buy it once and call it a day. Uh, here's the results and how much it compressed it for the before and after size. That's a lot of fine-tuning options, so let's look at that real quick. Okay, it's asking to be the default application here. So you just want to uh, open a document here, open this guy here, and then you could go to File, and then Optimize, and then you could pick your size here. So this is where it has the custom settings, so all kinds of uh, information you could do there. If you want to resample your images to really reduce the size or custom sizes, remove embedded fonts, and it just gives you some warnings about text may become unreadable, uh, you know, all these other items that you could get rid of at your... Uh, PDF as well if you want to really shrink it down or you could just uh, stick with some of the defaults here the reduce size and then reduce size and still keep it print ready so that's that okay next we have free PDF compression this is free and it really reduced the uh, one that was just an image uh, cut the other one almost in half for the one with text and images so that's free PDF compressor so a pretty simple interface just kind of browse to your file, then tell it where you want to save it as, and then pick your setting here. You know, so I picked the uh, screen low resolution, screen only view to get the best results here, but you have all these different options. So that's the uh, free PDF compressor, and that's free, so I kind of like that one. Then there's Foxit, which is more than a PDF compressor. It does all kinds of stuff, so it's kind of an all-in-one thing, similar to... Uh, Adobe Acrobat. You get a 14-day trial. It has advanced settings. So this also took over as the default PDF reader. You know, it did an okay job at the compression. So let's see how that works. Okay, let's open it up here. And then we go to File, PDF Optimizer, and you can reduce file size or advanced optimization. And there's for scanned PDFs also. And so you get a bunch of settings here for the downsizing for JPEG compression. If you have pictures uh, for monochrome images, uh, options here, maximum qualities, uh, DPI, make it compatible with these version standards if you need to do that. And then plus you have a bunch of other settings here. So all kinds of stuff you could do with that too. So like I said, it does more than just compress files. You could do all kinds of stuff with it. So that's Foxit. Okay, nice PDF compressor. Compressor. 
it's an old program. You could tell by the interface, $69 one time. It didn't do much in the way of uh, reducing it. And if you, once you start using it, use it once, it's right away. But if you want to do the next one, you have to wait for a countdown. And then you do another one, and the countdown's even longer, and so on and so on. And I couldn't get it to use or to work on the extreme setting without crashing, or ultra extreme, I should say. So that's nice PDF. So that's this guy here. So you just kind of pick your file and you pick your destination. And it's an option to uh, check the encryption status if you need to do that. And then here's your option. So ultra extreme didn't work, but I was able to do extreme and the uh, you know, results weren't too thrilling. So that's kind of a, you could tell it's an older program and it wasn't really worth the trouble. So that's the uh, that one there. Okay, if I close it out. Then we have this Orpalis PDF reducer, 199 one-time fee, decent uh, reduction. You get a 30-day trial, which lets you use the, you know, all the features for free for 30 days, which is what I like, so you can really test it before you buy it. So let's open that up. So you just do your uh, source and destination, and then you could do your single process, multi-process, and then you just click on start, and then uh, yeah, we'll do the reduction. And so we got 48 out of 54 and 3.2 out of 6, so that's not too bad. And then finally, for the installed software, we have this Nevia PDF compressor, $99 one time. Got some pretty good uh, reduction there, but it adds a watermark to your uh, documents while you're doing the trial, so you, you could test it out, but you can't really use the results uh, that you uh, get from this. So let's open that up. So pretty simple, just add a file. And then just click on compress. There's some settings here if you want to fine tune your adjustments, that type of thing. But like I said, you know, you could try it out, but you're going to have to have watermarks on your PDF file. So I guess if you really like the way it works, then you could go ahead and buy it and continue using it for $100. Okay, so now we have the PDF sites. So this is where you upload your files to a website. So we have small PDF. Okay, so that's small PDF, so it's just a matter of dragging and dropping your files there. Let's see if I can find one of those documents here. So then it just uploads it, and then you could uh, pick your compression. So the basic compression is free. If you want to do the strong compression, it gives you an estimate. Then you've got to do the pro and that one. It doesn't show the price for pro. So if you're kind of, I guess you have to maybe sign up. Uh, let's see what I put here. Yeah, that's right. You need to put in a credit card to even do the seven-day free trial. So it's not a free, well, it's a free seven-day trial, but you have to add your credit card first, so they try and get you on that. And then you need to wait between compressing files on the free version, so you can't just do one after another. But I had a pretty good uh, reduction right there. Then we have I Love PDF. You know, it says compress PDF online. It's I Love PDF. Then you just, same thing, just drag your file there. And then you could pick your compression levels here. And then just click on Compress PDF. Uh, this one really did a reduction on the uh, 54 megabyte PDF image file, less than one megabyte there, and even did a good job on the text and image file. But when you use that highest setting, the quality was pretty poor, so you probably want to try one of the lower settings, but it looks like you'll still get some pretty good results with it. And it's free. All right, then we have PDF to go which I uh, closed out here, so I'm going to open it here. So pretty similar in interface. Let me uh, get this over here. So, so it looks exactly like the small PDF site, so I think a lot of these use the same interface here. All right, so PDF to go. Uh, free, but the premium version is $6.56 a month. Uh, you can only do uh, large files for the premium 
uh, version, so I couldn't even do the uh, large image file here. Did a good job on re reducing it. it. has some custom settings. So let me uh, try one this one out here. All right, so it's uploading it. So here's the uh, custom settings here. Basic, strong, insane, that type of thing. So it's kind of cool. But the only problem is, you know, you can't do any large files. And I don't think it said what the large file limit was. So you could try it for yourself and see uh, how it works for you. And then you might have to do the 650 a month if you really like it. So it's still kind of pricey for an online one, I guess. But not compared to the ones you download. All right, then PDF compressor. This guy here. Same type of thing, drag and drop. So this one uploads it, then I think it tells you the size before you even have to download it. So it compresses it on the fly there. So it told you it was a 27% uh, reduction there. So this was free. So once again, really good job at uh, compressing the all image file and did a pretty good job on the uh, text and image file as well. So that's PDF compressor. Then finally we have high PDF. Okay, high PDF. So we'll drag the file here again. And so we got maximum pages exceeded, so we can't do this one because uh, the document's over 100 pages, so I couldn't really test it out. And this is also the one where it had a 20 megabyte limit, so I couldn't do the large file either. So it's free or $6 a month for the pro version if you wanted to unlock these limits here. And they also have a special, right now, I guess they have a desktop version as well, which I didn't test out. So you could get the web and desktop version right now for $6 a month. So if you want to do both ways, so you'd have to test out the desktop version to see how you liked it. So that's uh, pretty much the rundown of all these different uh, software items here. So I have uh, links for everything, and I'll put that in the description. And then maybe I'll even uh, attach this Excel spreadsheet, then you could download it and have a little comparison sheet for yourself and then decide which ones you want to try out and which ones you don't. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.